Hey, Simulings, this is Doc Williams. And today we're going to be talking about Multimedia 5. Now, in the comments, in the Facebook group, there's been a lot of comparisons. Isn't this just like Lumen 5? In this video, we're going to be doing uh, a comparison of the two different platforms and seeing which one you can be using to effectively change your business with media today. So come with me. So we're about to get into uh, the review of Multimedia 5 and Lumen 5. Before you get started, before you see all of this, make sure if you're looking for this deal, it's active right now on AppSumo.com slash Multimedia 5. So go get it, but let's get right into the, the review video. Okay, so uh, before we even get into this, I just wanted to talk about who this is meant for or who I think the, these platforms platforms are meant for. Okay. So I have Lumen 5, I have Lumen 5 set up and I've got Multimedia 5. We're going to go through the beginning stages, everything through this, right? Now, I would like to have a couple things I would like to say with this because um, I, I like these products from how the onboarding is and everything like that. And I'll go into this. This is the one thing that I have issue with this. Okay, so if we look at this, it says simple and smart video creation solution, right? Create engaging quality video content at speed, scale, and at affordable price. Agree with all that. Now, down here where it's talking about design for people who aren't video makers. And now I'm getting all of these different companies, DuckDuckGo, Blizzard, uh, who create World of Warcraft. We have Disney, all these things, right? I'm a little bit confused about this because I understand this has credibility, but I also think about, okay, these huge companies, they don't have a department that is using more sophisticated platforms to create their content. Is it a, is it a division that they're just trying things out and they don't have a budget? Like when I see, when I see logos and brands like this, I expect the quality to be up to that standard that I can create that, or that's what I'm thinking in my mind with this platform that I'm about to use. Now, first of all, I'd like to say it's beautiful the way that this is constructed. I love everything about this page. But as you see, when we get into this, there are certain features that even if I'm trying to create this for other clients of mine, I'm going to have some problems and I'm probably going to need a different platform. Now, again, I understand this is for simple and smart video creation solution. Well, I think this is for beginners. I think it's exactly who they're saying, designed for people who aren't video makers. But I see all of these techniques that I wish I could use or use them easily with the platform, and I just don't see it. So we'll get into that in a second, okay? The other one is Lumen5. Uh, this was a, a yearly deal about a year and a half ago on AppSumo. So probably it was like 2018, 2019. And they, it was on there for multiple months. Um, I used it as well. And, and I have my thoughts on uh, what I thought about the platform as well. Now, I, I, again, I view it in the same categories. If it's someone you do not like to do anything whatsoever with uh, creation of videos, you're not good at it, you just need someone to point you in the right direction. I think both platforms are okay. I actually do. I actually think they're really good to get starter started with. I don't think that you can take it to the next level because of some of the features that you can't do. So let's get right into it. We're going to go with uh, Lumen 5 first. No, we'll go with Multimedia 5. They both have fives at the end. Come on, give me a break, guys. Okay, so let's get right into this. We're going to log in. Okay. What I do like about this platform is, especially when you first get started, it's already prompting me to create the video in the best way that serves me, right? So I can explore media, I can choose a template, it can pull my data from, um, you know, if I have a blog post or whatever. And it gives me three other ways as well, uh, story base, explore collections, whatever, right? I really think this allows me to have that not have that blank canvas, but to get started very quickly. Now, when I choose a template, um, it either prompts me based on the type of template, but also it gives me some kind of uh, details of what it could be used for, right? So it's telling me over here, I can do a Facebook ad, uh, you know, campaign, I can use it, um, 
you know, another Christmas video down here. It changes uh, an IG ad because it's uh, structured in that same uh, dimensions for ads on Instagram. All right, so let's just pick one, right? So I'm going to do a law firm for LinkedIn, uh, a LinkedIn video. After I get that, it 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 gives a couple seconds to to get ready. It's going to have the the different portions for me. It's going to create the video in three different sections. So it's going to have an intro. It's going to give me two different lines, a call to action, and then um, and then my logo here. Okay, so let's just start right here. I like that I'm able to get other uh, videos. I can easily drag and drop them, right? I can drag and drop them into the scene, all of that stuff, right? That's great. Now, this is wh what I, I have trouble with. Um, if I'm trying to make this an editor where it can be customizable and it's very easy. Now it's telling me where the duration is right here. It's going to be 16 seconds, all those things, right? So I can customize, I can customize what it looks like, whatever. So I can customize the words. It allows me to uh, change some of the spacing, add things, whatever, right? Now, if I want to preview this, I can preview it. Excellent job, right? Now when I'm customizing and all of those things, I can customize. I want to do a little bit more, right? Now, ideally, I would want it to be, if I wanted to extend this whole period of time, I should be able to easily um, add more time to a scene that it will repeat or fade in and then uh, give me a, a longer timeline as I'm editing, right? So again, I understand this is for ones that do not want to deal with timelines and this is for um, you know ones that want to create content very very easily but as someone that knows a little bit about production or creates things in um, in different platforms um, without having the timeline easily to ascertain what's going on it um, it causes a lot of friction. And I tried this, I tested this out blind with a couple different creators that actually edit and create content on Fiverr for people. So th that's, that's something that I was asking about. Is it just me? And the same uh, reaction. The other thing is too, I'm in draft and I can see the, the timeline. Where's the play button? Where's the play button? I have to just randomly click the bottom for it to start. Now, as it's going through, this is three portions that I would assume because it's three different portions that I could have edited the other sections. But again, very hard to edit. Now, again, if I'm trying to create something very, very simple, I'm just easily um, changing out some logos. I want to make this very, very fast because I do not want to mess with media. I can see this being a really good asset or uh, if I want to just show, if, if I don't know how to get stock photos and I'm just looking for something very easily, I see this as a really good uh, beta product for me to, to do this. I can even change out uh, the branding here. I can change out the music, all of those things. But the editing, the way to be able to control the beats or the the control of the action there's a lot to be desired now again i like all the features to get uh, it for get, for people to start this very quickly a plug and play i see this being there right i can save it i can go back to my dashboards whatever it, it's it's good but if i'm trying to do this to get to the to the next level to have this as a platform that i can use to create content for other brands, there's a lot to be desired. Now, right here, again, it allows me to start over, all those things, but the reason I'm being critical on this one or why I'm talking about this at length is, again, if I'm looking at, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign out for a second. Hold on one second, I'm gonna log out. The reason I'm being critical of this, and I was critical also of Clipman and other ones, 
If I'm looking at pricing right here and I'm looking for this to be a mainstay for me to change my business, there's one for $50 a month, which is pretty comparable of uh, what you're going to be getting uh, if you get this deal, right? It gives me a lot of things, 120 videos per month. Um, here is 120 videos per month. Again, you can look at uh, all the stuff. Uh, yeah, 800 fonts. It's basically the business one. Now, it says purpose built for publishers, media companies, marketers, digital agencies. And again, it's giving me uh, the right to be able to sell this to customers. If I'm doing that, I need a platform where I can excel and be able to create high quality videos to to sell it to companies and they they love it. To me, this is still a very basic tool or for a company that does not have a, a substantial budget and they just need something or someone that is just starting out on ads and they just need some kind of um, story that they can put that aligns with their company but they can't afford full production or something. So I think this is limited. Now again, I will have the same critique of Lumen 5. Let's get into it for a second. Um, again, if you're coming in, you're logging in, blah, blah, blah. Just thinking about its life for a second. You're going to get a similar prompt. Um, right here, it will just take you to your dashboard of what you're actually creating. Um, when you're creating videos, when you're creating videos, it's going to give you a similar prompt, a more um, uh, concise uh, view, I feel like. Um, it's just going to say use blog, use a script, use your own media. So it's giving it's giving you less. I, I like Multimedia 5 where if, if I am really seriously confused, it kind of walks me through. It gives me more options because maybe I don't think in this terms, right? The other, the other thing I do like about uh, Lumen 5 though is I really like that it already has my dimensions. And so I can already pick out... Uh, what kind of video I'm going to do, what kind of platform, all those things. So it allows me to to have this and it gives me the seconds counts. So it's creating content around the um, the parameters of that platform. So I don't even have to think about it. Multimedia 5 and of course Lumen 5, if you do custom, you know, you can have different time frames. But I do like that about Lumen 5 that it's already conscientious of what platform I'm doing, and then it's already critiquing that type of model um, to allow me to create content quicker without uh, with less editing. Um, some of their pl uh, some of their templates I think are a lot cleaner. It reminds me a lot of the um, templates that Canva uses for presentations. So that's just my personal preference. But um, again, they they create that for me. I, but see, once we're going back to what I what I feel about actually creating content, see, this one gives me a counter, so it allows me to to change it, change it easier than than me being confused when I'm using the other one, right? It tells me very easily the panning effect. So I think this Lumen Five actually gives you. A better experience if I'm a novice or someone that does not want to go into the other uh, video makers. They're not trying to use anything uh, with Final Cut. You you might not even want to use iMovie. This one allows you to either just really easy uh, to do a plug and play. And so Lumen 5 is not perfect, but they have changed a lot of their um, a lot of their settings and their setup since the last time they were on AppSumo for their yearly deal. And I think Multimedia 5 could get there in time with, uh, with more feedback. But again, both of these platforms, I just really want to reiterate that I think they're good for beginners or for you to uh, get started. If you think this is your calling that you can pick up one of these products and now you'll be all set to now be able to create really high quality videos and resell them to other clients without you needing to have another platform or at least other features to edit or meticulously change things based on the feedback you get from clients. 
I'm not sure if you're able to do that with multi, uh, Multimedia 5 or Lumen 5 at this stage. Again, I think it's for beginners. I think it's for companies that just need some kind of presence and willing to, st and they know that they need video because that's where everything's going. This is a good starting point. To get to that next level, I think it's a little, it's not misleading, but I think it's a stretch to have the other ones, um, like the business class, this could be for all of your um, business purposes for agencies. I think it's um, an offering that you could do to create MVPs or beta, uh, uh, beta ads or beta content to see what your audience wants and then be able to go back with a larger budget with ones that are more proficient on Final Cut or Premiere or others to go back uh, using uh, other uh, other programs. So that's my um, that's my take on looking at the two different platforms. Let me know where you're at your business. Now this this is something that I, I want to really touch upon as well. I know a lot of people uh, complain about well it doesn't do X Y and Z. Where are you Where are you using this in your business? Are you a creator? Or are you just a marketer that you're looking for an easy um, an easy solution to test your ideas for clients? Or are you a full designer, full time, you're doing this and now you're trying to see how you can um, uh, promote your skills to a new business? I would love to know those, uh, those things after you're watching this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and, and looking at the two different, uh, the differences of the two platforms. Again, if you're interested, uh, comment in this video or uh, ask your questions on uh, Multimedia 5 as it's live on appsumo.com right now. Thank you so much for watching.